What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a complete CTA bus guide for you. I'll be sharing some interesting facts, history, plus my personal tips and tricks for navigating Chicago by bus. Before we get started, you already know what to do. Go ahead and finesse that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and check out my Patreon page for exclusive community and bonus content. So here's a little introduction. The Chicago Transit Authority is the governing body of the public transportation system here in the city, which includes trains and buses. Bus routes are numbered anywhere from one to three digits. Most are pure numbers, but some have letters added like A, J, or X. This denotes a special purpose, like express or overnight service. The majority of bus routes travel in two directions, and bus stops for either direction can be found on opposite sides of the street. Buses are one of the most reliable ways of traveling throughout the city. They can get you pretty much anywhere, plus they're more environmentally friendly than cars. And they'll help you save a little bit of money. The earliest forms of rapid transit in Chicago were horse-drawn carriages, which began service in 1859. They could only transport 12 passengers at a time and topped out at a maximum speed of four miles per hour. In 1882, cable cars went into operation. Compared to their horse-drawn counterparts, these were lightning quick. Their max speed was 12 miles per hour. Electric streetcars began running in 1890. By the way, many different private companies controlled these various forms of public transportation throughout the city. For example, the Chicago Railways Company. Bus service as we know it today began in 1917, and trolley bus service, which no longer exists in this city, began service in 1930. On October 1st, 1947, the newly created Chicago Transit Authority consolidated all forms of rapid transit and streetcar service. Sadly, streetcar service ended in 1958. And even more sadly, trolley bus service ended in 1976. Talking about going green, in 2006, the CTA acquired its first diesel electric hybrid buses. About 800,000 people ride CTA buses every weekday. That's more than 250 million annually. CTA buses travel around 200,000 miles around the city each and every day. In its fleet, the CTA has regular sized buses as well as the articulated accordion style buses. There are about 140 routes in total, some regular and some express. Where CTA trains won't take you, the buses will. And together, they form one of the most robust public transportation systems in the entire United States. Riding the CTA bus is not only an incredibly reliable way of getting to any destination in Chicago, but it's also extremely easy. Simply sit or stand near a bus stop sign or under one of these magnificent bus shelters and wait for the bus to arrive. Once you see a bus pulling up, look at the LED sign above the windshield. This will indicate the number and the name of the route. You can also listen for the audio message as it pulls up in case the sign's not working that day. Board the bus and pay your fare with cash, ticket, venture card, contactless credit card, or mobile pay app. Wait for the go alert, take your seat so you can enjoy the ride. When you wanna get off, simply pull the cord or hit the red button near the back doors to alert the driver. Once the driver stops, exit the bus, you're there. Be sure to check that your bus route is on the sign. Sometimes the bus will drive right by if it's express or doing a turnaround. Have your form of payment ready. You don't wanna be fumbling through your pockets while people are waiting to board behind you. You can purchase plastic venture cards at vending machines at any L station stop. You can also pick them up at various retail locations throughout the city. You can also order them by phone or online. You can now add your venture card to your iPhone or Apple Watch. Use the Venture app to easily reload your card so you never run out of fare money. You can also stand on the bus. There are bars and hanging loops to hold on to. If the bus is not as full, try to find a place with two seats empty so that you can put your bag or your purse right next to you. If the bus starts to get full though, make sure you offer that seat to another passenger. Try to request your stop before the bus actually arrives to the stop. If you signal too late, the driver may keep driving. Some have special destinations like Museum Campus or the United Center. It's usually easier to exit at the back of the bus because people are boarding up front. If you're paying cash, make sure you have the exact amount because the bus won't give change. Sometimes when you get to a stop, the back doors won't open right away. Don't freak out, just alert the driver. For you cyclists, there are bike racks located on the front bumper of most CTA buses. All CTA buses are accessible 
They kneel for differently abled people. Use an app like Transit to see when the next bus is coming before you walk to the stop. It's normally correct, give or take about five minutes, but keep in mind that sometimes the system is out of whack. CTA bus routes cover most of the city and many times can help you complete a trip when the train doesn't take you exactly where you need to go. Take advantage of this incredible resource to explore the city, whether you're a Chicagoan or just visiting. You don't have to worry about driving, gas, or parking. Wait for people to get off the bus before you board. The front seats are usually reserved for seniors and differently abled people. On a crowded bus, take off your backpack so you don't accidentally hit people in the face with it. Be courteous when you're on the phone. Not everybody wants to listen to your phone conversation, trust me. And if you're listening to music, use headphones. During the morning rush hour, many stops will have a line. These are people waiting to get on the bus so they can get to the loop. Don't be that person and cut in line. It's extremely rude. Be nice, let other people board before you. Unless, of course, it's that morning rush hour. The public transportation in Chicago is truly one of the city's crown jewels. It makes traveling extremely easy, especially for Chicagoans without cars. Like I've said many times, you don't need a car to live here, and we need fewer of them on the road for a safer and less polluted environment. CTA buses are extremely reliable. They run in any weather, and they get you where you gotta go relatively quickly. In the future, I'd love to see more electric buses, more bus lanes, not just downtown, and of course, more bus routes. A huge shout out and a special thank you to all of our CTA drivers. Y'all are the real MVPs. Some of the most popular CTA bus routes include the 151 Sheridan, number 146 Inner Drive Michigan Express, 79 79th, 77 Belmont, 66 Chicago, number 53 Pulaski, 49 West number 9 Ashland, number 4 Cottage Grove, 20 Madison, 22 Clark, and number 8 Halstead. If you guys enjoyed this CTA bus guide, go ahead and finesse that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I would really appreciate it if you shared this video with your very best friend. Be sure to check out my Patreon page for exclusive community and bonus content. Huge shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, but for now, I'm out of here. Peace.